Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. In this video, I want to show you one of the graphing tools that is available in my math lab. Um, when you're asked to do a graph in my math lab, lots of things can happen. Sometimes they just give you a, uh, a multiple choice question with several graphs drawn and you pick the right one. But there are also some very nice tools which allow you to graph the, uh, the function yourself. Um, and there are tools that will graph lines and parabolas and circles and all kinds of wonderful things like that. Now, they're not all necessarily exactly the same. Uh, we are going to look at a tool called the three-point quadratic tool that will graph parabolas. And that's not the only tool they have in my math lab that graphs parabolas. So if you watch this video and it doesn't work for the homework problem you've got, you might look through some of my other videos because I do show some of those tools as well. Now, over here on the left, you'll see a function. Remember, f of x is the same thing as y. And I have already plotted, calculated some points uh, for this function. This particular problem wanted me to do that. Pick some values of x and find the corresponding values of y. So for example, if x is 0, substituting a 0 for x, 0 minus 2, the parentheses means do this first. 0 minus 2 is negative 2 square negative two and you get four and so on. I took a minute and plotted these points by hand on paper so I could see the shape and I recognized that it was a parabola. So that's the tool that I wanna show you. Now scroll down a little bit and you'll see this little icon that says click to enlarge graph. You want to do that. And then you'll see some palettes here depending on the shape you want to graph. We do believe this is a parabola so you pick the, uh, the palette that looks like a parabola and you'll notice as you hover over it that it says three point quadratic tool. There's also one just simply called parabola tool and that works a little different. I'm gonna click on this and in the yellow bar, they basically tell you what you do. This tool is very simple. You simply plot three points off of your chart. Uh, I'm going to use some of the ones that are easily visible because you're not gonna really be able to scroll up and down. So I'm going to move my cursor over the graph paper and notice that as I do that, uh, the point moves along and up in the yellow bar, the coordinates of the point are shown. You simply go to one of the points from your chart and you click on it. So the first one that I see is the point one one. I'm going to move my, my cursor and watch the yellow bar as kind of a check until I find the point one one and then I'm gonna click on it. Now notice that you get a horizontal line. That's totally not what you want, but don't worry. It's going to get better as you plot other points. It says plot the second point. So just pick something else from that chart. Uh, I'm gonna pick the point two zero. And again, I'm moving my cursor until I find two zero. It's looking like a straight line. Don't worry, it's gonna get better. Uh, click on the two zero when you get there. And then it says plot the last point. So we're gonna pick one more. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be the next one. So just for variety, I'm going to pick the point four, four. Notice that the shape begins to form itself here. I'm hunting for four, four, looking for it both on the, uh, graph on the Cartesian plane graph paper and in the yellow bar, click on four, four. That's three points. Sure does look like a parabola. That should do it. Let's click on save. And then let's click on check our answer. And sure enough, we did it right. So again, this may not be the tool the, the, that, you, the, that you'll see when you do your My Math Lab work. There are some variations, but this is the one called the three-point quadratic tool.